And breaking news out of Ukraine, a Russian news agency reporting a group of civilians have left a steel plant where hundreds were sheltering in one in one of the last uh, holdouts in Mariupol. We're also learning of new explosions in Odessa. Cole Higgins has the latest. In the southern city of Mariupol, a Ukrainian resistance ruling out surrender. If there is no choice but captivity, we will not surrender. The city under intense Russian shelling since the start of the war more than two months ago. Some 100,000 people believed to be trapped there, including hundreds of soldiers and civilians holed up in a steel plant. They're telling us it's, it's, it's a humanitarian disaster there. The, the city is being, uh, being destroyed. Basically, a beautiful, striving city was turned uh, into a concentration camp by, by the Russians. Russian state news reporting Saturday that 25 civilians, including children, were allowed to leave the plant. CNN has not independently verified those claims. This, as exclusive new satellite images show what remains of the plant. Ukrainian forces also hunkering down in the east amid relentless Russian attacks. In Donbass, the occupiers are doing everything to destroy any life in this area. Constant brutal bombings, constant Russian strikes at infrastructure and residential areas show that Russia wants to make this area uninhabited. To the south in Odessa, reports of multiple explosions. The military's operational command declaring the airport's runway damaged, potentially continuing a trend of Russia targeting supply lines and transit infrastructure this week. But the Ukrainians are fighting back. New footage shows Ukrainian forces striking Russian armor in the east Saturday. I'm Cole Higgins reporting. Now, according to a Ukrainian soldier trapped in the Mariupol steel plant, some civilians have been evacuated after a ceasefire was introduced. The deputy commander of the Azov reg Regiment says a rescue operation is ongoing to try and rescue civilians from under the rubble after intense Russian bombardment has reduced many buildings at the plant to ruins. And closer to home, the Department of Homeland Security processed more than 20,000 Ukrainians at the U.S.-Mexico border since mid-March. They were also granted humanitarian parole on a case-by-case -case basis. And with Title 42 lifting soon, the Biden administration is preparing for an influx of migrants. A top Homeland Security official outlined the Biden administration's plans for the influx by encouraging Ukrainians to start the application process while they are in Europe. And for the latest on the Ukraine crisis, download the KYMA app, available in the App Store. Now, decaying bodies and remains not properly identified. That's what is alleged against a California funeral home. Even though there was a state investigation underway in 2020, the home was only shut down last year. Christine Lazar reports. When a group of investigators arrived at the Mark B. Allen Mortuary in Sun Valley in April of last year, court documents say they noticed a swarm of flies circling the property and the odor of decomposing bodies was, quote, foul and overwhelmingly strong. When officials went to this location because of complaints from family members about the disposition of their loved one's bodies, the odor from inside the facility was so great that officials could detect it outside. City Attorney Mike Fuhrer, who's running for mayor, announced that his office has filed 22 misdemeanor charges against the owner of the funeral home, Mark Bruce Allen. Each time an individual body wasn't cared for properly, as we allege, there is a potential for one year in jail and $10,000 in fines. There are 11 deceased victims named in the complaint. At least one is a child under 10 years old. We have learned that the state's cemetery and funeral bureau first sent an inspector to the funeral home in July of 2020, after family members claimed the mortuary wasn't releasing the remains of their loved ones. According to court documents, the inspector observed an unpermitted makeshift cold storage unit that was 20 degrees warmer than the industry standard. About seven months later, the same inspector went back and noticed the smell of rotting bodies. But no action was taken against the funeral home for another two months when the state learned that the LAPD was also investigating. At that point, the state determined that Allen posed a serious and immediate threat to the public. His license was suspended that June and revoked a month later in July of 2021. 